in the secret world, it pays to keep your eyes peeled. You never know what details might be hiding in plain sight. Hello, welcome to Q&A, a secret world lore series where I don't just look for the answers, but also the right questions to ask. Today, I wanted to look at crates. Exciting topic, right? They're the quintessential set decoration in games. They're something we don't really think about, but they're always there. Old Man Murray once created the Time to Crate Index, telling you how long it took before the game designers ran out of good ideas. However, the developers of The Secret World were very careful about their crates. None of them were placed haphazardly, and there's such a variety of crates that you can actually pick out their meanings. There's the military crates, there's the explosive crates, there's the blank crates, the Phoenician crates, and while crate still sounds like a word, the red hand crates, which will be what I'm looking at today, specifically the red hand crates in Solomon Island. There will be spoilers for much later in the game. For those who do not care about spoilers, the red hand is a former Soviet occult science division. They factor very prominently when we get to Romania, but their presence on Solomon Island is more than a little strange. Like most secret organizations, the Red Hand puts their stamp on literally everything they touch, which um, is kind of dumb now that I think about it. Eh. Anyway, you can find these crates in a few notable locations. There's one at the Moon Bog, where Eleanor Franklin's cat is hiding. Oh, kitty. There's one at the factory, near all these hanging corpses, which is also where this pestilent revenant hides. There's two near the Savage Coast Lighthouse, next to this wrecked ship. This one I find particularly interesting because it's sitting right next to a quest item. You would have to look at it, but you're still likely to overlook it because the item you're actually looking for is right beside it. It's almost like the developers are taunting us with this information. But most of the Red Hand crates on Solomon Island are at Innsmouth Academy in the Old Block. It's literally stacked floor to ceiling with them. The Old Block's been closed since 1967, following the disaster at the Elementalism Lab which created all these specters. So why are they here? How do they get here? I believe that there is sufficient information for us to figure this out, and to trace their route from Romania to Maine. The largest concentration of crates appears in the Old Block, so that must have been their final destination, and likely the point of distribution for the other crates on the island. Although the Old Block has been locked since 1967, we know from Carter that students break in there all the time. And it might not just be students. The crate in the Moon Bog is also near this mission, Detritus Prime. Reading the notes, this golem was built by an academy professor with a deteriorating mental state and no tenure. I'm assuming she became this corrupted secret worlder that attacks us. As an aside, there seems to be an odd connection between making junk golems and being filth infected. Eh, that's something for another time, though. As for the one at the factory, it's a little hard to say how it got here. All of these hanging corpses look pretty fresh, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. The factory was likely shut down around the same time the mine and quarry were, which would be 1971 to 1973, so after the old block shut down. I find it highly likely that somebody looted this from the old block, decided to open it here for whatever reason, and unleashed the Pestilent Revenant. Hey, if Orochi's shipping crates can hold all the things they do, a red hand crate could certainly hold a revenant made of rats. It's also the only rat revenant found outside of missions in Solomon Island, while they're slightly more common in Transylvania. Now the ones by the lighthouse in the Savage Coast are a lot harder to make sense of, they appear to have some association with this scuttled ship, but were they being transported in or out? I believe in. The ship appears deliberately scuttled, and this location is extremely out of the way. It's also very close to Innsmouth Academy. I believe this boat was used to smuggle the crates in, 
and a few fell overboard in the process, just deemed acceptable losses given the secrecy of the operation. The ship was then scuttled to further cover it up. It's very likely the Phoenicians were involved, but mostly just as middlemen. The accident that caused the old lock to be locked down occurred in 1967, so the crates must have been brought in before them. I think it is therefore safe to assume that the crates came primarily from Facility 9 or other unseen facilities, not Facility 10, the slaughterhouse. Although the exact date of its shutdown is uncertain, it likely happened sometime between 1960 and 1968. Around the same time, there was a shakeup in the management of the Red Hand, with the occultists leaving in mass, leaving the mad scientist to run the show. This exodus from the Red Hand probably occurred sometime before 1966. The recorded message in the slaughterhouse says that they were going to have a working prototype by 1966. However, that did not play out in reality. It took the scientists several decades longer than expected to even get a prototype, and even longer than that to mass produce them. The lore also states that tightening budgets were responsible for the declining fortunes of the Red Hand. In the period of 1960 to 1962, the Soviet Union suffered an economic recession, and the Eastern Bloc suffered food shortages, with economic reforms occurring in 1961 to try to combat this. I believe this helps us pinpoint the time of the Red Hand's collapse. With cuts to funding, so came cuts to corners. The disaster at Facility 9, the ceiling of Facility 10, and the mass exodus of occultists from the Red Hand probably occurred shortly thereafter in 1963, given a year or two lag time. The defecting occultists also stole materials, which they brought with them when some of them took up residence at Innsmouth Academy. Hailing from Facility 9, they attempted to continue their research into interdimensional travel, eventually resulting in the disaster that killed the class of 67, destroyed the elemental lab, and resulted in the sealing of the old block. Thank you for watching this video, and special thanks to Mike's Mind, our first $3 patron. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more like it, then like, share, subscribe, hit the little notice bell, etc. And also consider donating to us on Patreon. We appreciate every dollar. And if you did not like this, then do mati.